The Earth has a lot of warm places. Forest fires, lava flows, iron foundries, the inside of your toaster oven, nuclear reactors, and so forth. But if we're just talking about regular old sun heats the Earth climate and weather, where on the Earth's surface is hottest? Some might say Death Valley, which isn't a bad guess, as the 56.7 degrees Celsius temperature observed 100 years ago at aptly named Furnace Creek remains, according to official weather statistics, the highest temperature ever recorded. However, weather stations measure air temperature in the shade about a meter and a half above the ground, and as you know if you've ever walked barefoot across a beach on a hot day, surfaces in direct sunlight can be a lot hotter than the air just above them. Plus, there are only 11,119 official weather stations scattered across the globe which equates to only one station every 13,000 square kilometers, or six on average for an area the size of Scotland. Not that Scotland is a leading candidate for heat waves. Super hot places like deserts are particularly harsh and remote, making weather stations impractical and even less common. So to find the true hottest place on Earth, we need an army of meteorology students to install and monitor thermometers on every inch of the planet. Or we could measure the temperature of the Earth from space, which NASA does every day. The Terra and Aqua satellites carry instruments called spectroradiometers, which detect the infrared radiation, that is the heat, radiating from the Earth's surface. Their resolution isn't amazing since the satellites measure temperature averaged over each square kilometer of the globe, but that's still 13,000 times better than weather stations. So the winner for hottest square kilometer on Earth? Not Furnace Creek, it only clocked in at 62.7 degrees Celsius, nor the scorched wheat plateau in the Lut Desert of Iran, despite repeated claims to be the hottest place on Earth. However, it's close. A nearby portion of the Lut Desert is the winner at 70.7 Celsius, or 159.3 Fahrenheit. That's one degree hotter than you need for the proteins in an egg yolk to coagulate, that is, to cook. No need for your toaster oven, breakfast is served. This episode of Minute Earth is supported by Audible.com, the leading provider of audiobooks across all types of literature, including fiction, nonfiction, and periodicals. We at Minute Earth heartily recommend In a Sunburned Country, a book about the only country that's a continent, by the always hilarious and delightful Bill Bryson. You can download this audiobook or another of your choice for free at audible.com slash Minute Earth. Again, thanks to Audible for making it possible for us to keep producing Minute Earth, and for giving you a free audiobook at audible.com slash Minute Earth.